How's it from Grant here and welcome to episode two of Stock vs. Gcam, where I test out the default camera app on a particular phone and put it up against the Google camera app, which is typically found on Google's Pixel phones, more commonly referred to as Gcam. And so today I've got the OnePlus 7 Pro and I've got Gcam installed on it. And for those of you who don't know, you cannot download Gcam from the Google Play Store. You have to go and manually find it, download the version that works best with your phone and manually install it yourself. And so if you don't know how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a really simple process. And if you don't know what settings to use and apply in the camera app itself, there are files called config files, which are basically files that store all the camera settings in an XML format file. And so all you have to do is download that file, install it, and it'll preload all the settings that are stored on that file for you. And so if you don't know how to install XML files, I'll also leave a link in the description for you to do exactly that. And so basically all I did was I went to XDA, I found the recommended Gcam version for the OnePlus 7 Pro, along with the recommended config file and applied those settings. And that's basically what I shot all the photos with. So. For those of you who are not familiar, I take photos and with both the stock camera app that came with the phone, so the OnePlus camera app, as well as photos with Gcam and show them back to back to you so you can compare the results and if Gcam is actually making a difference for you. And just another note, I don't personally use Gcam myself, but I do get a lot of requests to compare Gcam with the stock camera app on a bunch of phones. And so I do understand that because maybe you like the results you're seeing from the Pixel phones, but you don't wanna go ahead and spend more money on a separate phone because you're perfectly fine with the phone that you have. This can be a possible option for you to supplement the camera app that came with your phone in some occasions where Gcam may be useful. So go ahead and take a look at all the photos. I'm going to show you a bunch in both good and low light conditions. So you can see for yourself if Gcam is going to make a difference and really improve the photo results for your personal tastes. So take a look at the photos and videos and let me know what you think.